Hi, my name is Kai Ming Ting, the first author of the paper entitled Isolation Kernel and its Effects on SVM. We introduce a new data-dependent kernel which is derived directly from the data and solely dependent on density distribution requiring neither class information nor explicit learning. What you see here are example kernel distributions from three kernels. Isolation kernel under uniform density distribu distribution is compared with Laplace and RBF kernels. This shows that isolation kernel approximate Laplacian kernel under uniform density distribution. This example shows that there is a parameter psi which controls the sharpness of isolation kernel. Large psi produces sharp kernel distribution you see at the bottom and small psi produces shallow distribution you see on top. What you have seen so far are kernel distributions under uniform density distribution. Given a data distribution which, are, which has sparse and dense regions, as you see on this slide, isolation kernel adapts to the local, dis local densities. Rate of decrease is high in dense region and low in sparse region. As a result, point A in sparse region is more similar to point, point in the center than point B in the dense region, even though both points has the same distance to the center point. In contrast, Laplacian kernel is independent of data distribution. Its contours stay the same independent of data distribution. Points A and B have the same similarity to the center point independent of the density of the local regions. We examine the effectiveness of isolation kernel with existing data dependent methods in SVM, which includes metric learning and multiple kernel learning. This slide shows the significant test result of the comparison. Isolation kernel is significantly better than all the other methods. Now the contribution of the paper. We identify that isolation forest is one successful partitioning mechanism to create isolation kernel because it produces large partition in sparse region and small partitions in dense region. Isolation kernel created with isolation forest approximates Laplacian kernel under uniform density distribution. But isolation kernel is adaptive to different densities in the local regions. It has the following unique kernel characteristics. Two points of the equal interpoint distance are more similar in sparse region than those in dense region. We show that SVM classifiers can be improved by simply replacing the commonly used RBF or Laplacian kernel with isolation kernel, especially on data sets with varied densities between classes in the overlap region. Thank you.